I am Jason Abraham, the Shadow Teacher 33. And once again, this channel, this Shadow Teacher 33 YouTube channel, this is a channel devoted to human potential. And this path to human potential requires peeling off layers of perception. And it involves looking at ourselves and the world from a broad, multi-dimensional perspective. And as we peel back the, la the layers, you know, we're starting to see what was hidden, the esoteric and the occult. And what I find is there's two major pathways to occult. And spirituality you have the Western pathway which is heavily driven by one's personality one's will concepts of manifestation of pulling forces to you aligning forces with intention with desire and creating with intention and desire and on the other side of that, you have the Eastern esoterics and spirituality, which seems to be the complete opposite. It's more about letting go of the desires and fitting in, fitting in with what is, fitting in with a divine perspective, fitting in with the cosmic scheme, and letting go of the illusion of the personality and finding peace in this simple state of being, of being without striving. And I find life is full of paradoxes as these two seemingly opposite, contradictory mindsets and approaches, philosophies, I feel that both of them have value for a human soul moving in the direction of its highest potential. And both of them also have a shadow side to them. So with manifestation, again, the power of using intention, when one is moving with this intention of, of manifesting, of creating from the personality, when done in its light, you're adding life to life. You're adding something unique to the life process that only will come through you and your unique lens. The shadow side, however, is delusion, is obsessing over an illusory projection, that being a personality, something that is ever-changing, or I should say the pieces of the personality that have been added on to the soul that came into the world and are always in flux. And so when we get obsessed with this illusion or an identity that's based off of trauma that we've clung to, then this need to control, this need to manipulate and valuing that so highly causes damage to the world. We end up taking life and manipulating life and stealing life as opposed to adding to life. Now the eastern side, the light of that is simply letting go of the neurosis that comes from striving, the anxiety that comes from striving and always seeking to be somewhere that you're not, seeking to be someone you're not, see, seeking to have more than you have right now and there's a peace in simply learning to be and let go and letting go of the need for control the shadow however is being too passive being a pawn that is simply moved around by the evil agendas of others much of the time when you are not exercising your will you damn sure most likely are going to be a resource and a pawn to the will of somebody else who has that conviction to do so. 
And sometimes when one gets too passive, gets too much of the, the letting go of the desires, not valuing the desires, not seeing your desires and your personality as valuable and important, then you unconsciously just become a, a tool and an empty vessel for someone else and something else. And you end up taking life and diminishing the life process as opposed to adding to it. But I'm a big fan again of all things in the right time, all things in divine timing. That good old Kenny Rogers song, you gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to run. And I believe there's a time where we need to use our intention, where we need to use our will, where we need to use our vision and live intentionally, moving forward, moving towards a goal, moving towards something significant to the personality. And then I believe there's also a time when we need to let go, when we need to simply be in a state of what we've created and let bigger forces do some of the heavy lifting, move things around, and maybe allow a creation that is not exactly the way our, our mind or our ego wanted to see, but ends up being something that's actually better for our soul and better for the world at large. And this comes again from letting go, being at peace, sitting with what is, this more of an Eastern approach to, to things. And again, the harmony and doing the right thing at the right time and, and building this intuitive skill of the soul to know how to do that, that is our work, that is our calling, that is our mission. And the result is going to be a higher expression of us that has a higher creative capacity and a higher capacity to help add life to life. With that being said, I'm going to end this transmission. Be strong, be well, and I will see you on the other side.